Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plug Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. This one's really cool. This is the Polyverse Wider, and what's cool about this plugin, this specific free VST, is that it's actually taking out of Infected Mushrooms plugin called Manipulator. Now, the awesome thing is I actually was at kind of the one of the revealings of this plugin. Also, Infected Mushroom and Polyverse work together to basically make this like vocal modulation plugin called Manipulator. And I was actually at their kind of demonstration of it at Guitar Center here in Los Angeles. So I have a link this below in the description if you want to check it out. And one part of that plugin was the wideness of it, allowing you to add wideness to pretty much anything you're doing. And the algorithms and everything that this program uses and this plugin uses is phenomenal. So even though it looks simple, even though you're like, oh, that's that's it? That, that's the GUI? the graphical user interface, trust me, don't underestimate how powerful this plugin can be. So obviously you always attach it to another sample or another instrument or whatever you're using. So I have a piano here. I'm just going to make a little melody, right? So I'll just do this. I'll do a low C chord, uh, a little fast. I'm just going to, so we can hear it. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer actually, so we can hear it. There we go. I'm going to add some reverb to... Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it wet. Oh, excuse me, keep it dry. It's actually, I'm not going to make it... All right, a little annoying, but... But you get the idea of the plugin, right? So, with this plugin, you're going to click and drag up. Now, if you notice, you pretty much have two sections, right? Two different colors. The 100% is basically make it... Obviously, 100% wide in terms of the stereo width. Now, what I love about this plugin is you can push it. I love plugins that almost sometimes can push a sound to an extreme point because it can add just so much unique stuff. And by stuff, I mean there's so many other things that can come into play when you push a sound past like a certain breaking point. So what I love is you can bring it up to 200% wideness. So you can really push it, right, in terms of the stereo width. So I'm going to start it at, uh, I'm going to loop this. I know it might be a little bit annoying here in the same chord. I'm going to loop it and I'm going to slowly bring it from 1 to 100, pause, then from 100 to 200. So you can hear how powerful this plugin is. So I'm going to loop this, uh, activate loop, I'm going to slow this down actually. All right, ready? So, so you can hear it pretty well now, right, in terms of stereo width. And I highly suggest, by the way, at this point in the video, if you're listening to this with like off your laptop speakers, you might you might notice a slight difference, but not to the extent if you're wearing headphones or if you have good studio monitors. So I have to say, if you're watching this on an iPhone or Android, whatever phone you use, plug some headphones in because special stereo width, playing it out loud, if you don't have good monitors or good headphones, you won't hear the, the true power of this plugin. So we got 100 now, and I'm gonna go up to 200. Now immediately you can notice, even at 120, it's already getting more like weird, right? Super cool. Like, I think you do so many amazing, like, if I, especially adding some reverb now, um, jump into this plugin. That's clipping a little bit. Right? Adds just such a unique kind of texture to that sound. Now, what's amazing about this plugin, too, is you can actually also add this to something that's mono. So, unless you have an element, I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm just gonna grab, um, I'm gonna. What is it we have here? Um, so this is actually from the Murtaugh sample pack. Uh, actually, no, I might go back to a break. I might just grab Live Sexy Trip Hop. All right. All right, I'll just do that one. I like that name. Live Sexy Trip Hop. Uh, I'm going to turn the loop to here. All right, I like that sound. So now we're going to add in the wider. Before I even activate it, I'm going to go to here, add in utility. So if you hear this, so now it's in mono. So let's say you have an element, a sample that's only in mono. What I can do now is add in that stereo width, even though it's mono. So I'm almost converting. I, I, I hesitate to use the word converting, but I'm almost in some sense of the term converting it from mono to stereo. Not really, but kind of, right? Now, just go if I turn this off. So 
So you notice too what I kind of like about this plugin is that if you have something in mono and you're trying to put it in stereo, obviously you have to do a couple of different things as opposed to the stamp the sample's already in stereo and you're just running it trying to push that stereo width. And you can really do amazing things with this plugin. Now, oh, I've given my rating by the way. This this plugin, um, I'm gonna give it a this one I'm, I'm giving a 4.5 out of 5. The reason I don't give it the 0.5 deduction, the only reason why, because I, I love everything about this plugin, is that I do have other stereo width and wideness plugins that I've already reviewed on the series. The only reason why I'm giving it the 0.5 deduction is because I like it would be really, really cool. If you could start at zero, obviously you go up to 200%, which sounds amazing. But I'd love it if you could almost go to negative 100%, then negative 200%. A lot of these stereo width plugins I have can not only add to the stereo width, but remove it in the opposite angle, kind of like detracting from it, which adds just this odd feel to it, right? And I don't like that when it comes to the wider, you can't detract the stereo width and bring it the other direction, you know? No, good, obviously, I, it's free, so... Um, but I'm going to bring in another vocals. I think we're, especially when it comes to vocals, I'm going to bring in, I already kind of used this one, but this is the Burnbow vocals um, that I have for my track Burnbow, My Suma Vase. Um, I'm going to bring it, I think it was like 125 was the BPM of this track. So let me listen to this. Um, this is a master for now. All right, now I'm going to throw this on this because I think, like I said, I'm just showing you the, the power of this plugin. I'm going to bring this to here. So let's play this up. Um. Now immediately, also again, I'm still now just at 100%. Most plugins would stop here, but now it's wider. <laughs> right, super, super wide. Um, there's a lot of power, like I said, within this plugin. Not only adding or making, I guess, maybe a sample that's in stereo or an element that's in stereo and adding more stereo width, but taking something that's mono and trying to do what it can to add some stereo-ness. Maybe that's a good word. Stereo-ness to it. But I'm telling you, especially when it comes to Polyverse, you know, I, I love their plugins. Their manipulated plugin is phenomenal. And obviously, I've always been a fan of Infected Mushroom, you know. Fun fact for me, especially getting into electronic music, getting into music production, Infected Mushroom was actually the first group, or first actually electronic artist. I was like, wow, this electronic stuff is awesome. You know, the first one got into it. And in addition, not only download this plugin, but check out that whole video. It's a bit of like a vlog that I did. Going to Guitar Center, hanging out with Infected Mushroom, and obviously people with Polyverse as well, and then demonstrating the powerful Manipulator plugin.